ahead and did this eye off camera so I'm gonna go ahead and get into this eye um, so just wanted to make this a fun different look I've actually never paired the colors purple and olive green together but this new um, lipstick that I got from Belagante um, Cosmetics is my inspiration for this look so we're gonna go ahead and go in first with our crease and in the crease I'm gonna be using uh, MAC um, loose pigment and antique green and just going to lay that a little bit into the crease um, and we're going to go back and kind of intensify it a little bit but just so we have a guide line to go in with our cream shadow that we're going to end up putting on the lid and I went ahead and taped off my eye just so the look is a little more, more neat and clean and for me it's easier to do precise eyeliner looks um, when I have the tape for a guideline so still not completely proficient with getting perfect eyeliner and if you're not don't be ashamed to throw some tape on your eyes it's easy it's quick I bought this little tape dispenser here it's one that you can like it's for gift wrap you put it like on the back of your hand and you can just pull tape off of it and it came with a bunch of refills so that's what I use for my makeup application so the next one I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with my H&M cream eyeshadow um, in what is this stuff called shy violet color essence eye cream so it's like an eyeshadow base. I've used it as an eyeliner before as well. Um, and if you set it with, um, oh crap, if you set it with a shadow, it sets pretty good. So I'm just going to go in with that using a crown concealer brush. And just go ahead and put that on the eyelid. And just make sure you swipe it on there so you get completely like opaque lids so that the next product we go into has a little bit of something to stick to. So the next item I'm going to use is another MAC pigment. I'm going to be using um, Helium pigment from MAC and a little bit of Fix Plus. So just going in, I'm going to go ahead and spritz my brush with some Fix Plus. And I'm just using a random um, inexpensive, uh, what brand is this, Sonia Kashuk, kind of flat flat-ish concealer looking type brush and just get a little bit of that helium and we're going to pat that just oh I just put it on the wrong eye crap so I just went ahead and added more stuff to that eye we're gonna have to fix that one <laughs> unfortunately um, so just go ahead and pat that on the center of where you played um, place that cream base okay so the next one I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the deep purple shade out of the Urban Decay Smoky palette and it's called Smolder. So I'm going to go in with Smolder and we're going to put that in the inner and the outer corner around the eye kind of um, creating that halo eye with that helium shade in the center. What I'm doing, I'm trying to make sure I'm in a good frame for y'all but I'm blind as a damn bat as you all know so I gotta be like laying on top of my mirror. And then after you apply that to the darkness that you want it to be applied, then what I do is I just kind of marry those two together a little bit in the crease. So then just kind of create a bridge right there over the helium color and right underneath the green that we put in the crease originally. Actually gonna add a little bit more to this eye too. Just a wee bit. Okay, so then we're gonna go back in with our blending brush that we use for that green shade and just blend the top of that a little bit. Okay, so then next what we're gonna do is clean off this brush from that blending. And I'm going to go back into that green, the antique green pigment that we used from MAC, just to intensify that color just a little bit more. Just sweeping that back and forth in the crease. And I think we're good there. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with MAC Uninterrupted, and I'm going to put that right above the green. Um, on that crease of the eye, the upper crease rather of the eye. And we're just going to, just to give it a little bit of warmth, just a little bit of warmth. 
Okay, so that's all we're going to do with that. So the next what I want to do is just go in with a blending brush. Actually, we're going to do eyeliner first. Back up. So we're going to do a little liner. I'll be right back after the liner is applied. All right, guys. So next we're going to go ahead and move on to the face. I went ahead and did my eyeliner and put some lashes on off camera. And so next we're going to move into a little bit of correcting underneath the eyes. So I'm just going to go in with my NYX Dark Circle Corrector um, for that. And a really dirty brush. Uh, please, guys, do not judge my brushes, but they are filthy. Um, I recently just stopped traveling for work, so I actually have time to be at home and film and clean my brushes. So please do not judge the dirtiness level of these brushes because they are horrible. And it's horrible because I used to teach makeup and cleanliness of brushes and I am not being a very good role model right now with um, how nasty my brushes are currently. Okay, so after we've done that, we're going to go ahead and go in with our foundation. And I'm actually going to just use my L'Oreal um, Infallible Pro Matte in the color 106 Sun Beige. And I'm going to go in with another really dirty brush. <laughs> so I'm just going to use the e.l.f. Cosmetics brush. Put some of that foundation on there, dot it all over my face, and go ahead and go to blend it all in. And so you're just going to blend this in all over. I didn't go ahead and like blend the orange corrector under my eyes prior to doing this. Um, you can if you want. I find that it blends out just fine when you go in with your foundation. Just go ahead and bring that down the neck. Blend in on your forehead. And me personally, I only usually go in when, with one healthy pump of foundation for my entire face. Um, just because sometimes I don't want like all the cakey extra coverage. But today I'm actually going to go in with just a little bit more. Just a tiny bit. Dotting it on my face in some areas that need a little bit of extra help around my jawline. And down my neck a little bit more. Okay, so we got that put on, and then next we're going to do a little bit of concealing. So, I don't know why I was looking at my monitor when I said concealing, but anyways. So we're going to go in and do some concealing. I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape, and I'm using the color Tan. I actually probably should have got a shade down in this, but when I bought this, I had a really, really dark suntan um, like a couple months ago. And it's starting to fade now, and I've been trying to use this, like, up um, so that I actually get some use out of it. Because soon this will be, like, my actual skin color and really not great for, like, highlighting and concealing. Um, so what I'm actually going to do is just add a little bit of NYX um, HD Under Eye Concealer in um, CW04, which is the beige color. And just add a little bit of that to kind of create some highlights on the face. And I'm going to use a, what brush is this? It's a Crown C450 brush to blend this in. I prefer using a Beauty Blender to do like the under eye um, concealing and blending. But that Beauty Blender is in the bathroom right now. And it's not damp. Nor do I feel like going to get it damp or get it from the bathroom altogether. So just gonna make this work if this brush was like half size smaller than this I think it would be perfect for under the eyes but it is a little bulky especially if you've already done your eye makeup and you're trying to be really precise I'm just go ahead and blend that on the nose so then what I do when I'm being lazy like this and I don't want to get up and get my beauty blender is I get where did it go I get this little pointed brush, kind of like a mini version of the big one, and it's from Crown as well. It's a Crown C456. And get really close to a mirror, which... Do I have a mirror in front of me I can get really close to and stay in frame? Yeah. Okay, so just get really close to the mirror and kind of fix 
if you messed up anything or any further blending you need to do under the eye that you couldn't really get with that bigger brush. Okay, and I'm also going to go in with my blending brush I used for shadow because I did kind of mess up the shadow a little bit and just kind of hit that on that inner area. Okay, so then next what we're going to do, guys, is we are going to do a little bakage under the eyes. Um, what I like to use for baking under my eyes are a couple different powders. I have a lot of powders. But the one I've been really liking lately for baking under my eyes is actually my, uh, what is this called? Is this Belle Pierre? I think this is Belle Pierre. Yes, Belle Pierre Banana Setting Powder. So this came in like an Ipsy bag or Birch Box or Boxy Charm, one of those guys. And I really am liking it for under the eyes. So I just put a little bit of that in the cap. And then I get my sponge. Ah! So like I was saying, we're going to go in with the banana powder under the eyes to bake. And put a generous amount of that under the eye. Just to ensure that there's not going to be any creasing. And this Shape Tape Concealer actually doesn't crease on me really at all. Um, but doing this just kind of ensures locking everything in. You're an ass. Why are you still standing there? So then you want to put this on the face anywhere where I put it anywhere I get like really shiny because it just helps kind of combat some of the oils that you can possibly be getting. So I just placed it in those areas and then we're going to let that sit on the face while we do a little bit more to the face. So what we're going to do. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we're going to just powder the rest of our face. So. For that, I'm just going to be using my MAC Studio Fix and NC42 and taking my, what is this, my Dior Shadow, or what is this called, Dior Powder Foundation Brush, and just go ahead and pat that in to the face. Alright, so now that that is all patted in, we're going to go ahead and work on our brows. I'm going to go ahead and do those off camera and I'll be right back. Okay. 